The longest promise aka Yu Gu Yao has been a long time coming. Even though the cast finished shooting in 2021, the drama was only released in the second half of 2023. Directed by Jiang Jijun, starring one of China's biggest actors right now, Xiao Zhan and up-and-coming actress Rin Min, The Longest Promise peaked at over 5 million reservations on Tencent just before it aired. The Longest Promise premiered on July 2 without prior notice and quickly became the highest-rated drama on Tencent Video in 2023, sweeping the charts on platforms like Maoyan, Vlinkage, Kuyun, and Yunha. No doubt, the drama's success is due to its dedicated cast and crew who gave the project their very best. But what did it really take to shoot such an epic drama? Stick around and find out some of the things the cast and crew had to do to make one of the biggest Xianxia dramas of 2023. The actors had to be in the best shape of their lives. With so many action scenes that were physically exhausting, the actors had to prepare really hard in order to carry them out. Everyone needed to be resilient and strong. Xiao Zhan took his exercise so seriously that he could be seen on set doing crunches, squats and other stretching exercises before takes. Remember this beautiful umbrella that transformed into a weapon in many of Xie Ying's fights? Well Xiao Zhao got a workout whenever he lifted it because it weighed over 7.5 kilograms and he needed to make it look like it was weightless. I have never used an umbrella as a weapon before and this one in particular is very heavy, Xiao Zhan admitted. Despite its heaviness he pulled off this ethereal scene that stole our hearts. Of course, Ren Min was right there going through her own wire stunts, fight scenes and obviously trying not to get hurt in the process. Xiao Zhan ever the caretaker was constantly looking out for her. One of the shots was quite dangerous and he immediately pulled her back from the edge when filming stopped and his hands were always ready to grab her in case she falls. They were pushed to their limits. Art director, Ji Xiancheng admits, for the whole emotional aspect and for scenes we had to push them to the extreme. For the underwater scene where Zhu Yen had to save Shi Ying. Xiao Zhan and Ren Min had to be fitted with heavy iron sheets and extra layers of clothes to give them enough weight to help them stay underwater. Xiao Zhen says the water was so cold and he needed to adjust to the temperature before doing the scene. They swam around until they were comfortable enough to do it. Once they got down to it, they had to deep dive and hold their breath 17 times before they got the perfect shot. Their clothes kept getting in the way and halfway through it, Ran Min began to cough because of all the water they kept consuming in their bid to kiss underwater. They were so relieved when it was over. Of course Xiao Zhan is known to be goofy and playful in real life, he had to let all that go to play the aloof and seemingly cool, sharing. He says it took him two weeks to play the righteous and square-toed character. I was nervous, I watched the playback to find problems. I judged my performance and made adjustments, he confesses. Xiao Zhan also had a hard time trying to convey emotions without externalizing his feelings since his character showed restraint at all times. Long Hours Filming for the show was physically exhausting as the actors spent a lot of hours on the set. Considering how detailed and intricate all the scenes were, the cast had to give it their all. The cast itself admit that their time and workload were highly saturated. Every scene was a big and important scene, so it took a lot of time to get through scenes each day. In an interview the director commended Rin Min for putting in overtime. He said, after shooting more than 10 hours a day, Ren Min would stay behind to discuss the performance design of some of the scenes. No doubt, hers and Xiao Zhang's efforts made the drama the success that it is today. Extreme Conditions The set was littered with hand fans for a reason. The drama was mostly shot in Hengdian. For those unfamiliar with Hengdian, its summers are hot, oppressive, wet, and mostly cloudy and to make matters worse, they shot the drama from March to July 2021 which happened to be the hottest months of the year in that part of China. It didn't help that the cast also had to wear very thick costumes. But, even in that uncomfortable environment Xiao Zhan still managed to deliver a performance that was real and smooth, layered and explosive. 
an extra on set added that, the day they filmed the desert wedding scene, it was unbearably hot. Even Xiao Zhan joked about it. While on one of their breaks he turned to Rin Min and said, if you were to marry here, I wouldn't visit you, it's just too hot here. They were required to learn new skills. Although this wasn't Xiao Zhan's first Xinxia drama or a role that required martial arts or fight scenes, he has been fighting in dramas since his debt role on Superstar Academy, he did need to train extensively with a martial arts teacher to perfect the many fight scenes in The Longest Promise. Not to mention all the complicated hand gestures he had to do in his role of casting spells. In the BTS footage, you can see him exercising every motion and action repeatedly. He was so devoted to perfecting all aspects of his role that he could be heard asking the director to do multiple takes for better shooting effect. You would think that having to learn and execute all the physical stuff was what challenged Xiao Zhan the most. However that is not the case, parts of the dialogue were what gave him the most headaches. He says the lines were tongue-twisting and often involved ancient poems. But being the perfectionist he is, he spent hours mastering the dialogue until it became native to him. Rin Min, who was filming a costume fantasy drama for the first time, said, acting without physical objects was her biggest challenge. Hence it was important for her to exercise her imagination whenever possible. With time she was rehearsing scenes with a special focus on eyelines, and became comfortable with performing dialogue with an imaginary environment. In Xiao Zhan's biggest emotional scene, he was completely empty-handed in front of the wind blower. Emotions were constantly running high. The drama is chock-full of emotional scenes that left the cast raw and frayed. When the Queen Mother died, Xiao Zhan lost himself in the script so much so that even when the director yelled cut, he was deeply affected and needed some time to compose himself and it seems his portrayal of a heartbroken child who has just lost his mother moved the director as well, who was rendered speechless by the scene. In the final part of the bus released by Tencent, Xiao was seen comforting Rin Min while they were rehearsing the moment Zhu Yen was going to stab Shining. Xiao Zhan says the temperature on the scene was very high and the actors needed to constantly mobilize their emotions. After taking many consecutive shots, Xiao Zhan felt out of breath that the director told the team to stop and rest before going back into the scene. Shooting in multiple locations They filmed at the Hengdian World Studios, one of the largest film studios in the world which has been nicknamed the Hollywood of the East. After that they traveled to Yinchuan City to film the rest of the scenes. Even though the cast didn't go to too many locations, the production team shot in real areas like the Gobi Desert to enrich the sense of hierarchy of the story with panoramic aerial photography and long shots, creating a magnificent momentum across the world. They also cooperated with the post-production special effects team to interweave fiction with reality, showing a magnificent picture. The actors are not the only ones who had a difficult time because according to the crew, the making of The Longest Promise was no easy feat it took the production team two and a half years to construct the world the drama is set in. According to the director, The Longest Promise is set in the Yunhuang continent and contains three ethnic groups, the Kongsang people, Mer people, and the Clan of Ice people. To capture the essences of these different groups, they built a lot of live-action studios on 30,000 square meters of land and still more sound stages were built for individual scenes as they happened in order to vividly recreate the enchanting scenes described in the novel. 3,000 props were made including the famous weapon disguised as an umbrella that Shireen used. After watching all the behind-the-scenes footage, we really appreciate their hard work, dedication, and professionalism. Even though what we see on screen may be only a few minutes, the process takes hours of hard work and effort.